Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from GrowView. This is the GrowView T6 1080p native resolution mini LED projector. Uh, we're going to check it out now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get once you get it out of the box. The first thing they give you here that I want to show you is they give you a simple projection cloth screen that's a 100 inch screen, which is really nice to have if you don't already have a setup, uh, you will get this. Now this projector can project up to 240 inches depending on how far back you are away from your projection surface, uh, but it's nice that they include it. Now you do get a user manual for the T6 and it's in a couple different languages. Obviously we're going to go over the English portion here. It's not micro print. It's going to be easy to read. It's going to show you all your button functions, your remote control, uh, how to hook things up. Uh, this is Bluetooth enabled as well. So you can hook up Bluetooth speakers on this and we'll get into that a little bit later. Now it is a standard uh, two pin to two pin power connector for powering the T6. Uh, so that is what you'll get uh, for power. It does have a legacy AV or audio visual cord for uh, older devices that use the red, white, and yellow cables. So if you do have a device that you want to uh, put in there that uses the older connections, you do have that as well. They do include a full HDMI cable here so that you can hook up your laptop, PC, uh, or game console as well. Now you do get a, a remote control here. It's a fairly simple remote, but it does have all your basic functions such as your modes, your power uh, selection, uh, muting and increasing and decreasing your volume, uh, and of course pause and play and return as well. Runs on two AAA batteries that are not included. Let's take a look at the T6 itself. Now it is a very compact unit. Uh, there is an IR uh, section on the front for your remote control. And if we take off the lens cover, you're gonna see it's got a nice big lens here. This is native 1080p, but can play back 4K encoded files as well. So if you do have some 4K files you wanna play on this, you can easily do that. Got a focus ring in front and uh, in the back, uh, you will have your keystone correction for up to 15 degrees. On the top, you've got your button layout here, uh, pretty much just like the remote, uh, but right on top of the unit, little LED for power. On the side here, we do have a 3.5 millimeter audio for headphones, your AV, a full size HDMI port, and a legacy PC RGB port, along with a full-size SD card slot. On the back of the unit here, we do have a secondary full-size HDMI and a, a full-size USB Type-A slot for USB drives and of course your power. Now you're gonna get venting on both sides for this uh, and uh, that is pretty much the build quality. Uh, on the bottom, we do have a few things that I do wanna go over. Uh, you do have uh, four feet on the bottom to hold it in place. There is no spot for uh, mounting this to a tripod, uh, but you do have a leveler here as well and you can use this leveler to level out the device to get the perfect picture. Okay, so this is the main screen you're gonna see here, and you can see we've got a ton of different options here. Uh, we do have customer support. If you do need to contact them, it'll give you some information on that. Selecting HDMI one or two, uh, you can uh, go for music, text, photo, or movies. Uh, so you do have those four formats there. But let's take a look at uh, our settings. Uh, you do have a picture mode here. It's set to standard by default. Uh, and as you can see, it's got some uh, predefined modes that we can take a look at, uh, dynamic, uh, and some other ones as well, mild user, and user will allow you to adjust your contrast, brightness, color, sharpness, and tint. We're gonna leave it on standard for our test. 
Uh, going back, we are going to check out uh, a few other things as well, of course, in here. And what we're going to check out is our color temperature, which is set to medium by default. But you also have a warm and a cool setting if you need to check those out uh, and they look better to you, you can do that. Now you do have noise reduction on here. It's set to medium by default, uh, but you can do low or high. And you have projection mode, which is front by default, but you can do this ceiling front, rear, or ceiling rear. If you're going to mount this uh, maybe on the ceiling or something like that, you can change those modes right from here. Now in sound, it's pretty much the same setup as video. Uh, you've got standard movie, music, sports, and user. And of course, going to user is going to allow you to adjust the treble, the bass uh, at, to your liking. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this on standard for the test. Uh, and then we'll go back. You can check the balance and uh, change that as well. And auto volume, you can turn that on or off. Now, if we keep going, we've got time. You can set your clock here. Obviously, I've not set my clock yet. Uh, you do have off time and on time, which means you can run this on a schedule if you would like to. You do have a sleep timer that goes from 10 minutes all the way up to 240 minutes. So it will go off, uh, say, if you're watching this while you're uh, going to bed or something like that and you want it to go off, you can do that as well. So you do have uh, auto sleep and an OSD language here. So you've got your OSD languages and you've got several to choose from. Uh, it defaults to English out of the box, but you've got French and Dutch and uh, a ton of other ones as well to choose from if English isn't your first language. Uh, HDMI link is here. Now Bluetooth is also in here as well as resetting and software update via USB. Let's take a look at the Bluetooth setting. And this one is important because this allows you to hook up uh, Bluetooth external speakers for a, a better all around sound. If you wanna put like maybe a Bluetooth soundbar on this uh, or pair it with uh, Bluetooth headphones, you can do that as well right here in Bluetooth mode. So it does have Bluetooth and it is definitely something that adds a little bit of richer sound to this. So that's pretty much it for our settings here. Uh, and as you can see, I'm gonna leave everything on a pretty much normal settings for our test, which we're gonna do right now. Okay, so for my test, I have a uh, capture of a uh, game Fortnite in 4K. So I want you guys to see that it is possible to play back 4K files here. So uh, let's take a look and listen. Okay, so even in the default mode, as you can see here, the brightness is very good. They rate it at 9,500 lux. And the contrast ratio, they rate at 10,000 to one. And you can see even in the default mode, it looks very, very good. So this is gonna be very good for video games, very good for movies. Now, the one thing that I do wanna mention is that you could hear the fan noise even with this uh, up at 100%. The three watt speakers don't really overpower the fan noise. So you're best off uh, putting in either external speakers through the 3.5 millimeter jack or using Bluetooth speakers or headphones with this. Uh, but as far as the color accuracy and brightness, this is a crisp and clear and awesome display for gaming and movies.
Okay, so that is my review of the Groveview uh, T6 native 1080p mini LED projector. Uh, there's a lot to like about this with the color representation, the brightness, the picture of this looks crystal clear and looks really well, can play back 4K files, and you do get a 100-inch cloth screen with this. Uh, the only thing that I would suggest is maybe adding uh, Bluetooth uh, speakers or headphones to kind of give you a little bit better of sound out of this. But if you're in the market for a budget LED projector, you might want to check this one out. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.